More bad news for Binance and Bitcoin as the market continues to move sideways. So we're going to discuss exactly all of the news that you guys need to know. And we do have some more information coming out from the Fed that you guys are probably going to want to be aware of and also some new laws around crypto tax. With that said, we're going to jump straight into it. Please do remember nothing in my videos is financial advice. And if you do have a second, do me a favor and just smash that like button because that's all I ask in return. We're going to take a look at Pepe, what is happening since yesterday and also taking a look at XRP and some other altcoins in this market. So if you're so looking at Pepe here, we can see there is a bounce on the day of 1%. As you know, yesterday there was a sell off of around 4% of the supply where the devs actually cashed out most of their holdings, which some people are worried about and other people like this poster here, Kenobi, believes that this is actually bullish because they only hold 2% and he would prefer if they did sell the next 2%. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. But looking over at the overall market, we can see Fed Chair Jerome Powell says inflation is still too high and warns that interest rate hikes are coming. So this is why nothing is going on in the market. We're not having any bullish momentum since the drop in Bitcoin because the market is is worried about what is going to happen next here. We also do have the US dropping its biggest bombshell on crypto taxation just coming out very recently. And if we do break this down a little bit, we can see that the US Treasury wants crypto holders such as exchanges and payment processors to report users digital asset sales and exchanges to the IRS. A new tax form, Form 1099 DA will be introduced to help with this. Now this will make it easier for crypto users to calculate their taxes, but also so hard up for crypto users to hide their taxes. So there are both people for and against this, but both centralized and decentralized trading platforms will be affected, crypto payment processors and some online wallets. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see that this comes from the $1 trillion 2021 Infrastructure and Investment Jobs Act, which aims to tighten tax reporting for digital asset brokers and could generate roughly $28 billion for the US government over the next 10 years. Now, who, now, this is looking to take effect by 2025, and we can see that some people believe that this will provide clarity and make it easier for crypto users to comply with tax laws, and others argue that the proposal is confusing, especially for decentralized platforms which don't operate within the normal guise of the market. So with that said, of course, this proposal might label many decentralized operations as brokers, which they argue is problematic. And one of the bright sides to this is the mining operations, a significant part of the crypto industry are generally excluded from the proposed changes. So the Treasury and the IRS are open to feedback until October 30th and public hearings are scheduled from November 7 to 8 to discuss the proposal further. So this could so this could have huge implications on the market and the next bull run. Now in the overall market we can see Pulse Chain is actually up 34% today with SWE up 8.7%, cast down again 2.4%. And we do see the market, both the market green and red, a little bit of an undecided market here today. If we do look at the overall market, it is down very slightly, still sitting at that $1.05 trillion market cap. Most coins in the last 24 hours are basically sideways, if not up, just very slightly. But no major moves today because I think of this fear that's happening in the market. Now, we are still seeing whale activity remaining strong for crypto, and we are seeing smart money buying the rumor about the halving that is coming next year. And I think most likely we are going to see bullish momentum from Bitcoin coming up to the halving. That's what I'm looking for anyway. And I think this will have a major effect on the price of Bitcoin. And I'm going to continue to stick to my guns here and dollar cost average into Bitcoin. You should never be following me blindly. You need to go out and do your own research. But I'm going to continue to buy because I do believe that we are going to see some strong momentum coming, maybe before the halving, maybe after the halving. But I do think there is another bull market here. And right now, the actual, and right now, the actual TA on Bitcoin tells me in the long term, we still have not broken our current uptrend. Now, I've said this to you guys a number of times, but this run here reminds me significantly of this bull run. If we actually see here in 2019, we had a run for around 94 days 
And then from that 94 day period, we had a down market essentially for another 265 days. So if we head over here, we can see from when this run started to where we are today, we are at 240 bars. So in total, this run lasted until we reached back down to that low again of 350 days. If the same thing played out again here and we jot in 350 days, we would put us slap bang December 2023 as to when we might see another low as what we saw here. Of course, that would mean history would repeat itself perfectly and would go through another event like COVID, which I do think another Black Swan event would come. But what happened next was absolutely incredible. And anyone who bought the fear in this whole region absolutely was laughing when we went up significantly. So I'm hopefully going to do that again. I managed to do it in this run and I managed to cash out in this run and I'm hoping to do that again by dollar cost averaging into the things that I believe in. And right now I'm still busy trading this market. We can see my XRP position still up at around 130% profit, making the best of any of these moves. If the market goes down, if the market goes up, I'm trying to make the best of all of these moves. So if you do want to trade, you can do so over on one of my partner exchanges here, BitGet, and they have a trading competition that is starting in five days. So you have five days to sign up for this. The first competition is a spot trading competition where you can win up to $50,000 in USDT. But the entire prize pool for all of these competitions is up to $2.65 million. $2.65 million in USDT. They have a spot trading competition, which is starting in five days. Then the futures copy trading, then demo trading, and then futures trading. You can even win yourself a Tesla quad bike or even a helicopter. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to work, but they're planning to give away a helicopter. With that said, just by signing up to the spot trading competition, you can get yourself 100 BGB by making your own team. So if you want to take part in any of these competitions, there's a link down there in my description. Head there now and get yourself signed up to at very least get yourself 100 BGB and potentially a part of that $2.65 million. Now looking at the overall market, the S&P 500 not looking terrible, but we did however have this confirmation of flipping what used to be a support into a resistance here. It's showing some signs of bullish momentum here on Friday, but nothing that we can nothing that we can for sure be certain is going to push higher. We want to see a break of this line now. That's what we're going to be watching closely. And the DXY sadly is still powering up after breaking through the resistance, retesting the resistance, and then pushing up a very clean break and a very bullish break for the DXY here, which as we know is not good for our overall markets. Now looking at things that aren't too good, we do see Binance and MasterCard end ending their partnership for their crypto cards. MasterCard and crypto exchange Binance are ending their partnership for crypto cards according to the payment giant. The decision will affect all four of MasterCard's co-brand co-branded crypto card programs with Binance in Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, and Bahrain. So this could be spelling worry for B MasterCard towards Binance. Now, again, we are seeing a lot of FUD around Binance. And so far, we haven't actually seen any of it play out. So I'm still not that worried myself. But of course, the best thing you can do in a moment like this is if you are at all worried about Binance, just get your money off Binance. It's as simple as that. You can come back at a later date and use it. There's just no point in taking Taking the risk guys so do stay safe out there and finally just to take a quick look at this piece of news trump nft sales volume rocket 3700 after the release of his mugshot this is the first time donald trump has posted on x formerly known as twitter for a few years now and this has got the nft market riled up and the nft market has not been showing signs of strength recently a lot of problems over there let me know if you guys still hold any of your nfts i personally still hold some of my nfts and those are down significantly with that said hopefully we do see this market turn around very soon stay positive out there zoom out chill out, research, use this time to develop your skills, and we are going to make it out of this together. So smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.